Today we have something special for you. In this box is a new Technics RSD C10. It is for a customer in the Bay Area. We're going to service it today and unbox it. We will be trying to service it with the original S and D capacitors. So that way it is different than the other videos where some of the boards are so damaged that we actually have to use aluminum through hole regular capacitors. But in this video, we will be servicing it with the original S and D capacitors. And also give you a little unboxing experience of this new inbox Technics RSD C10. Here it is, a little heavy, the unboxing is always good. As you can see, the remote and the original tape and even the original batteries are still in there. Only for can. We open the techniques by removing the four screws on the side and three on the back. The audio board is accessible by removing the two screws and the cover plate.
In order to gain access to the mechanism, we have to remove two screws at the top of the front plate and also two at the bottom. Before lifting the front plate, we remove the four screws holding the mechanism. Remove the audio board and flat cable to prepare it for recapping. Gently lift the mechanism and remove the three cables on the right hand side. Now with the mechanism out of the player we can remove the read write board. There are various ways of removing old SMD capacitors. We use the hot air method. Cleaning is usually a two-way process. First remove all residue with nail polish remover and then put the entire board in an ultrasonic bath.
before adding the new capacitors, all through-hole metallizations from side A to side B of the board must be tested, especially around these designated areas. The acid from the old capacitors often damages these connections. We add flux and a little bit of solder to the board where the new SMD capacitors will be placed. We add flux to each SMD capacitor. We have tried various methods of adding SMD capacitors, including hot air, soldering paste with oven or hot air. But for us, the best method is after adding the flux to each SMD capacitor, we tack it gently on one side of the board, in this case the left-hand side, then solder the right-hand side of the SMD capacitor before coming back to the left-hand side and position it perfectly. Now we do the same for the audio board. Putting the read-write board back is a little tricky. The cable is very thin and brittle. Finally, we can put everything back together for testing. It is very exciting to start this DCC player for the first time since production in 1992. Everything works. 
we also test analog playback and recording. Another happy DCC enthusiast will receive this Mint Techniques. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.